Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Mark of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'm still on the story of Joseph, and I'm still on the story of, uh, of purpose. I mean, and that's just about, you know, one of the things that I've found out in life is this, sometimes where God wants you to be, or in your work towards your purpose, in your work towards uh, achieving your purpose or your aim, there are certain people you need, you may need protectors, there would also be antagonists, or, or you may need protagonists, you also need uh, antagonists. But there's also something that you, you also need, purpose protectors. Purpose protectors. And, and let me lift it a little bit out of, out of the uh, sphere of Joseph, but then land with it. Now, here's the principle. You remember when Jesus was, was born. Now, all of a sudden, Herod wants to do away with him. When Jesus was born, Herod wants to do away with him. But in Herod's attempt to do away with him, something very interesting happened. Now, Jesus Christ, the, the Bible says the king, I mean, the, the son of God, has been born. And God could have sent angels to come and stand and defend him and draw their swords, just like he did in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, protecting Lot and all those other things. But to my surprise, here is the king. Here is, is God lying in a manger. Here is the baby Jesus lying in a manger. I mean, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God lying in a manger, and he's in danger. And then guess what? An angel tells humanity, the hands of humanity, Joseph and Mary, pick up the baby and run. Oh, wait a minute. Now, God didn't send angels to defend, but God gave the protection of his purpose. That was Jesus. He gave it into the hands of feeble humanity. He gave it into the hands of Joseph and Mary. He said, you take charge. You protect my investment. You protect my interest. You protect my son. Wow. Now, here's the interesting thing. So, you see, you can be anointed. You can be whatever, whatever, whatever. But there may be a season of your life. There may be a time of your life where your protection doesn't hang in the hands of of, of divinity hands in the hands of humanity. It hands in the it, 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 it has been entrusted into the hands of people to protect you and to cover you and to say things for you. In the same instance, you can remember God asked Gideon, go and pull down the altar. It was a divine mandate. Go and pull down the altar in your house, in the book of Judges. It was it, in, in Judges chapter 6 and chapter 7. It was God who said, go and pull down the altar. Now here is Gideon going to pull down the altar. He has pulled down the altar. Men rose up to come kill him. And I thought the angel would appear and say, I sent him. Drop a sword and scare, those, uh, the, scare the living daylight out of those people. But no, he didn't do that. It was Gideon's father. And after father, who was the high priest of the, of the altar of Baal? Who was the fetish priest? It was he who defended. And I'm asking, so, so what was God? You need to understand that sometimes God needs the hands of humanity to protect his interest. When something is in its infancy, when something, a purpose is in its infancy, God uses people to defend. And therefore, be very careful how you handle people. And be, and be aware that sometimes you will need people to protect you. Even though you are anointed and all those things, you need, don't be careless. You will need people to protect you. It is very important. Even though you are dead set, and don't think that you come to a place where you don't need anybody. You will need somebody. You will need somebody. So be very careful how you handle people and how you conduct yourself. Because sometimes there, there's a need for purpose protectors. See you later.